Oh, let's get it on. And so I'm gonna select this part and maybe for the moment I'm gonna go into local view as I want to select uh, these faces. Oh, I didn't even apply the solidify modifier. So uh, I'm just gonna duplicate going on Z axis somewhere like that. Let's see. Hello YouTube, uh, get ready for this amazing tutorial. Uh, I will show you how to do this beautiful chair for uh, our car. Let me get the second camera. So stick with me until the end and you will get the same result. Let's start it. I can go out of local view and then if I go into edit mode and select these edges because uh, these are the points which I need to adjust. Like what I want to get out of it it's uh, like a base of the of the chair let's say i'm gonna leave it somewhere around here for the moment maybe i can adjust the solidify modifier uh, for the moment i'm gonna leave it like that let's see i guess yes it's uh, getting out of the of the car but if i apply you know what i'm just gonna apply anyways i i will uh, apply also the the other the other parts from the chair like uh, let's get out of it for the moment i'm not gonna touch uh, anymore that part i'm gonna work on that just later so i'm gonna select all of these parts so p okay i have something yes here i'm gonna select this object here and then press l that's gonna separate uh, separate it well, that's, that's gonna select uh, the, the whole thing and then I press P and separate it because I don't like that uh, when I'm selecting this object, it's uh, all together with this one. So every single part now has uh, its own its own object like that. Okay, so everything looks just perfect. Now let's take a look on the image so we can remember exact, exactly what was uh, happening in there. I see a... I'm having here something like that. Of course, we are going to do it also. Let's do this part first. So um, I'm going to apply the solidify modifier. And then here we are going to play a little bit with uh, some uh, edge loops. Let's say like that. I'm going to take one more look. OK, so maybe what I what I will do, I will select this point g twice like that g twice like that also here maybe here i'm gonna leave it just as it is then i will select all of these parts here then p selection okay like this if i select this edge let me just hide it hide that and i press f i just get the wanted result faces around that area and I'm gonna do the same here, FFF, okay. That's just perfect. Now Alt H, okay. So let's see here what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select this uh, polygon GZ. So I'm gonna leave it something like that. So it's gonna have some, some depth. depth. Okay, then I can, um, let me just hide this object for the moment. It's uh, just, uh, getting me annoyed okay so i'm gonna apply i'm gonna add a edge loop then with this i can press g twice so i'm gonna put this somewhere around here that's gonna be somewhere around here and the same on the other side like that alt h okay so now we have this object let me see what's happening with it i see a line in the middle something like that hey do i have any other photos with that see i see i hear i see here that's simple but is not hurting too much to to have these lines around here so what i'm gonna do that's right in the middle this edge loop and i can press ctrl b and i'm i'm gonna add like three edges like that so i can select this one then scale on z axis Something like that. Looks fine to me. Maybe I'm gonna add one more edge loop around here. Then I'm gonna select all of these edges around, around this area. 
and uh, GZ, just like that. Looks pretty fine. Just a just a small detail. Let's get back to to our images. Okay, another edge loop around this area, and then I select these edges G twice so I can lower this part around here. Then I will select this side like that. G twice also here. Um, maybe it was an idea to to apply the solidify modifier. I forgot I didn't apply it also here. But now it's applied. Not a, a big problem because anyways it would it would be like the same. And maybe here I'm gonna go just a little bit more with this part. Like let me see. GX just like that. Little bit more on Z axis because let's let's take a look. Mm, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so that's straight around here as we as we can see. Maybe this part should also have one more mirroring point around this area, but mm, I'm gonna work with them separately. And of course, again, I have to forget to apply the solidify modifier. Let's take a look from the front view so I know exactly where I need to put it. Somewhere like that, but it's gonna go more out like this. Okay, I gonna, I'm gonna select the polygon that's gonna go around uh, this area like that. Let's get back to the edges. So that's gonna be around here, just like that. I like so much the result for the moment, and I didn't uh, get to the to the high poly result. Okay, <clears throat> let me see. That's somehow straight. Let me take a look on another photo. Yes, so it should be straight. Let's get back to this image around here. Okay, so GZ just like that. G Y. Okay, so we should, which should should have something like that. Seems to be fine. Okay, I'm gonna do one side and then I will I will put a a break in between while I, while I do the other side. Okay, now we do the next part. I was ready to to apply the sub, the subdivide modifier, and no, we are not we are not ready yet. Okay, so I'm gonna put this point around this area, let's say something like that, maybe a little bit more around this area. What I'm gonna do, because I'm seeing on the drawing, I, I like so much how the drawing gets uh, looking for the chair, like this shape here. So I'm gonna accentuate it. Let's see if I press G twice. No, it's it doesn't want to, to do like me. Instead, it likes to just slide around, but we solve it like that. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm gonna adjust more this point, uh, this point around here, and uh, maybe if I select this edge, I can slide it back and forth. Yes, that's perfect. That's uh, that's exactly how I want it to act. So like that, I put it here. Now, of course, I am having to adjust this point around here. G, X, um, perfect. Just perfect. So that's gonna happen also on the other side as well. Okay. Now, let me also check this part. Like I'm gonna push a little bit more the, ge the geometry. So they are gonna overlap and when they are gonna be subdivided, you are gonna see smooth transitions, something like that. Well, not exactly like that. It looks like a steak. We have to give it some creases, but uh, that's, let's say, the basic idea of it. Let me see more photos with the chairs. Okay, because we are gonna get uh, to the to the top part here or Maybe let's say that's the middle part, not exactly the top part like here. Okay, 
So I'm going to apply the solidify modifier here. That's a whole part that I'm seeing. So I'm going to apply also this and why not? Here you go also. I'm going to select every single thing from here and I want to, as I see here, I want this transition like that. So I'm going to first of select these edges around this area. Maybe that's going to be a point. Here I'm going to select only a point because I don't want to adjust also the, this part here. And then G, X, like that. It just looks good. So I'm going to select this. G, X, uh, I see they are not uh, totally with me. Okay. Like that looks fine. M much more better than um, how it was. See, uh, here I see that's just a simple thing that's happening with with that shape there. So um, first off, I'm going to put two edge loops around here, around this area. Then I'm going to hide this part because I want to give this this mode part, this beveled part here, but without adding a bevel. That's why I add the edge loops, because if I just press Ctrl B, well, that's faster, but uh, it uh, also it's messing up the geometry like we are having an end gone around here. That's an end gone. We are having another one here, another one here, and also here. On the other side, we have the same story. And um, no, no, that's that's exactly a no, no. Like I said, if I press G twice, well, they are sliding exactly how I want them. They're listening to me. I, I like uh, I like how. Uh, everything goes today also if i remember i will apply the solidify modifier i'm gonna enable the see-through feature in this way i can select these edges i'm gonna press g twice then that's exactly the point like around here so what i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna press three and if uh, i press three i'm just gonna go to polygon selections like that so one two three you go to points here then edges for for two and three it's for polygons that's a, that's just faster like that and then i'm gonna press i to make an inset so we we are getting this kind of a shape like that then g x okay so the geometry is the geometry it's pushed around and the useful fact about it when we later subdivide we can add edge loops right on this area that's that's the flow of the geometry and we want that because we want hard edges around here and also here and that's just good and um yep the same the same thing is gonna happen also to to these two parts so i can select them both like that I'm going to select uh, these polygons around here, then I again, something like that. I guess that's, that's pretty good. Like this, I'm not seeing. Okay, so, so, so something uh, in this way looks just good. Let me see this area, how it goes. So I have also a shape going on around this area, but not inside. I have to keep that in mind. Okay, so <clears throat> with this, let me see how 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 I, how I will go about that. Like I am already in polygons, I am gonna press C, and I'm gonna select all the polygons from here, just like that, and I'm gonna press I again, just like that. Now, uh, as I said, I don't want to move every single part because here inside. Let me just enable it because I'm showing it on the camera and you're just seeing me. On this part here, as I said, on the interior, we don't want uh, that to be visible. I'm going to press 2 to go to edge selection. With control pressed, I can select uh, a path of edges. In this way, I can select faster the edges. I'm not having to select every single edge like when you keep shift and 
just selecting one, two, three, 100 edges, and just like that. So I guess that's uh, gonna act fine. That's gonna act exactly how I want it. And um, we get this kind of shape here. We are having to solve some things, like, uh, let me take a look. Here the things are going on smooth. Uh, but here I have this edge, which uh, it's on the same spot, and I do not, do not want that. So I'm gonna select every single point, press G twice, press G twice again. So that's gonna find the right edge, like it's gonna be on the same plane. If you slide the points enough times, you are getting uh, the right output of, out of them. And uh, maybe these points are just uh, too close. I'm just gonna play with them a little bit because I don't like how they are. You see this this part of the square just going low. Like I'm out of here. Do not get me with your with your troubles. So now it looks uh, it looks just better like that. It's not that that big shear. Okay. So we still, I still have to move these points around uh, this area, like that. Maybe I can slide them. You know what, I'm not gonna slide on this edge. And I'm gonna do the, the same here. Like that. And we get the, the wanted result. Perfect. Just perfect. As you can see, we, we got a lot of details uh, just uh, with so less geometry add more geometry added like uh, you you have to keep it uh, just step by step adding more details if you just start right away with tons of uh, points you can get lost with it and uh, also maybe in this way in this way you you get with too many vertices uh, vertices <laughs> what did i say with too many triangles, sometimes maybe you get lost in geometry and uh, you are getting just a mess out of the triangles. So here I'm seeing just a small curve around this area. Here, maybe that's too much. I'm just gonna go out of edit mode like that. And then I will select this polygon here. Let me see how it slides. It's, slide, it's sliding like that. So that's just good. I want it uh, in this way, like this. So I'm gonna adjust also this part. Let me just select the edge. I'm not gonna apply the solidify modifier yet. I'm gonna put this point here and this point here, like that, okay. Let's just see how things are getting. So with these points, they need to go just a little bit under, underneath uh, this part. Like they are not on the same edge. So I'm, maybe I'm gonna select every single edge from here and they are gonna stay somewhere around here. And that's gonna happen also to this part. So they are going just like that. Now I'm gonna apply the solidify modifier. Okay, perfect. Let me select these edges around here and you're gonna go here like that. Okay, here I'm having to, to put some holes. So from what I'm seeing here, it's getting bigger, then it goes smaller. Um, I'm already having this kind of shape, but maybe I'm gonna get it more accentuated like that. Okay, so I'm gonna select the face uh, in front and in the back of the chair like that. Press I, so I make an inset of the face. Then if I press the uh, right click, and bridge i get this kind of result which is fine but here in the back i see i'm having to to leave the edge so i select this edge around here why okay this edge it's not with me it's uh, like not my man <laughs> i have my way of doing the things so i had to select the points one by one now we get we get the result Every single time you are having an option, if something is not working, 
you go the other way and you solve it okay so um i'm gonna do the same the same thing here like how it goes mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna go with something like that here i'm gonna get some much more thickness around this part i'm gonna press g twice mm -hmm. i guess that's enough okay so same thing happening on the other side just like that that's perfect now i'm gonna select one by one the parts front and back right click again bridge problem solved same on the other side good so we got the basic shape but we need to to get the interior part like this like here so uh, i'm gonna do that by uh, I don't know what I'm gonna select the whole thing around here shift D like that B selection okay it's separated now I need to solidify the thing because that's just easier solidify okay I have to go on the other way around here eight millimeters mm, maybe that's too much I'm gonna go with five five looks fine okay apply now we have also a line in the middle here so you know what i'm gonna add just an edge loop to every single part like that because um, that's just, just much faster than just adding edge loops and adjusting them Control b and i guess that's thick enough now i guess if i just deleting the faces from from this area and then with alt press selecting these edges around here if i press bridge yes i got exactly the result sometimes it's not working sometimes you have to to go the hard way like you see for the for the first part it just got right away exactly how it should now i had to twist it but that's a good case a case in which uh, it worked let's just check the face orientation fast okay everything it's fine we have to make sure that everything it's a uh, right uh, with the normals like blue means outside red means inside you are not wanting to see blue and red mixed around them the model is just uh, it's just gonna mess, mess um, the shading and now let's do the top part like Oh, I see I already applied the solidify modifier. Maybe I forgot. I've done that. Yes, so I'm gonna select this part here. Like that. That's... Uh, maybe I'm gonna push a little bit these edges outside. Like that. And let me take another look. Okay. Okay. Got something wrong. Because I adjusted the, the points here. Like, I don't like exactly how uh, the geometry is getting out. The way it should look, it's uh, just like that, more outwards. So this part, it's getting over the plastic part in between. Maybe I'm gonna select also the points here on the back and they are gonna stay like this, in this way. Okay, let's go back to our polygons where I wanted to start like that. Okay, so I'm gonna insert also the faces here. I'm doing something like that. I see here I'm having some kind of a bent area around uh, here so I'm gonna put let's say two edge loops two edge loops seems like enough for me we don't need too many we are gonna anyways subdivide okay so I'm doing something like that then uh, with these edges around here let me just select them like that gz uh, around here perfect exactly how it should be let's get out of local view uh i have to hide a lot of things okay well <laughs> that's just so cool i like so much how the how the chair is sitting inside of our car just like that everything looks fine everything is just good maybe i'm after all the things adjusted let me just see through so i'm gonna select these edges now maybe if i go a little bit more down like 
I can be with the shape around here, just like that. And on the other side, just let me see how the things are looking. You know what I'm going to leave? Only this edge. What I want to do with it. It's uh, here I'm going to put some rails, maybe they need to be visible. Like we are, we are doing an accurate model of it. You don't know, maybe if you are doing a render with it, just like that, you need to see some rails for, for the chairs. Okay, let's also add the, uh, the shapes, uh, the shape, where it, it was, ah, it was here. This kind of shape, I'm gonna add it here. So um, that's gonna be like, let me just select these polygons around here. Selection separated the selection. Let me select that, those polygons. Okay, finally, we got it. Like this, then extrude on Z axis, just like that. Now we are playing some adjustments on them. So uh, that's just good in this way. Now I will have to adjust these points around here because uh, they seem to be a little bit problematic in the way they, lo they look right now. Okay, I'm gonna have one face inset. Let me just press G twice like that so it's going much more like that. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side so it's a little bit smaller than, than the parts there. For individual faces? No, I don't need that. Maybe I'm gonna give it much more thickness, not depth also, depth is gonna be zero. Just thickness. Okay, that's fine. Bridge. Don't get it twisted. Like this. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. First off, we have to get every single part right on on its way. Then we are gonna subdivide and make everything look beautiful. Okay, extrude Z in this way. This Z, not the other Z. But you know what? Like, it sounds like uh, it should be the, the same uh, Z axis. Even if you say this Z, the other Z, like how I said it right away, but but you have the, the normal axis, uh, local axis, and also global axis. So in this case, you, you are having like this Z, that Z, the other Z. And then, okay, no more twist. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna leave it like that, just to go through in that way. Okay, seems good, seems pretty good. Anything lost now? Not exactly. So again, I'm gonna select every single thing from here. You go, you go, you go. Maybe also this, why not? No discrimination for, for the lower part. Okay, going to local view like that. How the things are looking in the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here maybe I will play a little bit more with these two points. GZ, just like that. GX. Perfecto. Like this. Mm. Here seems like it being much, much more better. Here I'm just gonna put the point around this area. Just like that. I'm gonna get this point a little bit more inside. Just like that. Small adjustments, small details. That's too much on X. So maybe it's gonna sit just around here. Like that. You go maybe a little bit more inside. Just like that. I'm gonna play a little bit with the edges around this area. So they, they are bent just a little bit. Same happening here. And just a little bit more backwards around here. Also with the whole shape. Just like that. That looks perfect to me. So now we can we can play with the um, subdivide modifier. I got everything right. Do I? Yes. That's it. Okay. Let the game begin. Subdivision for every single thing. Two levels of, of subdivision. You know what? I'm gonna pause until I turn on 
all of them. Okay, so they they have uh, the subdivide modifier visible, turned on, and also they are shaded smooth. For the moment, it's looking like a mess. Like I'm sure I'm not wanting uh, this kind of a thing here. Mm -mm. That's a no-no. Okay, let's take a look. Where was the drawing? And the drawing. Okay, so I have this kind of hard shapes around here, like in every single part. That's that's visible around here and also here. So I'm gonna make visible also this crease around this area, and I'm gonna put an edge loop also here, so it looks like that. Simple, pretty simple. Not too many things to to keep in mind. Here I'm gonna add, uh, you know what, I'm gonna leave just one edge loop, I don't need too much out of it, just like that, one crease here, one crease here, so I want to that to be visible, like this, okay, let's see how um, this part is gonna look, this do that, this do that, hmm. maybe I want a smooth shape out of it, let me see. I'm just gonna add one more part around here, then if I press G twice, I get this, this shape like that. So let's see now how the things are, are playing for us. That's much better. Much, much better. Like this. Okay. I'm gonna do the, that also on the other side, but not now. I'll do that when I will pause the the video. I don't want to, to, to do the, every single time when I have to do something again, just repeat it. It's unuseful for for you, not for me. But after all, I have to do to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna put an edge loop also on this part like that. Also here, I'll have something here there. Fitting perfect. Okay. Let's do also this. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna play a little bit also with the shape with the shape here. Like I'm gonna do something like that. And also let me just slide a little bit more this part around here. So it's gonna be much more visible. Just like that. Like this. Okay. So now when I add the edge loops, we are gonna see this shape like that. It's something. Certainly, edge loops going on ar on around these areas uh, here. I'm just got. I'm just gonna add them one by one like that. Maybe I'm gonna select both the things so I can add the edge loops to both of them. And here, because we want the shape smooth like that, so we are not gonna add on the sides. If we add on the side. We are gonna get a crease right here. <laughs> no, no, again. But here, mm, we can do that. Uh, we are not having anything that's uh, just stopping us from doing in this way. I'm gonna add edge loops around here. Also for this, here, like that. Less spaces. So here we got this, this thing, like that, okay. Here again, we are gonna need to adjust some things, or maybe I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's just too small. I like how how it goes. It's just there a, a subtle, subtle difference in that. K. Okay. Now a lot of edge loops on this bad boy. Every single edge needs its own edge loop and I guess I will also adjust these parts here just the points outside okay going on the side view and that's how you go that's just much better we have also two levels of subdividing yes let's add the necessary edge loops also here I was ready to forget this part uh, just like that and also on this inside perfect that's just perfect 
perfect perfect here i want it more on this way it looks so good mm, here we are having a handicap i'm gonna break the video here and i'm gonna adjust also them and i'm gonna come back got it boys yeah so that's uh that's the result like i i guess that's that's what uh, that's all we need maybe the rails i'm gonna do them afterwards just later but are they just beautiful like i like them maybe we can add more details but that's basically depending on how you want it like maybe i will add one more line around here like that or maybe that's just that's just gonna miss so that was the tutorial guys hopefully you enjoyed it and you found anything helpful into it um now uh, please leave me a like it's uh, gonna help me a lot uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, comment if you have any questions more tutorials coming in and uh, the model is going to be available on my patreon account link in the description where you can see a lot of things you are gonna be able to see videos uh, earlier than uh, they are scheduled on uh, youtube and uh, more stuff requests a lot of things come and check it out bye